Okay. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are in the world. Just a quick tutorial on our ACAR system and FSUI PC. Most recent simulator. Microsoft's 2020. Um, it is working. Our ACARS does work with it. Um, pretty easy. Go to the front page, log in. Resources, downloads. Grab the current stable version, okay? And then grab whichever FSUI PC you need for whichever simulator, okay? The links are here now. Or explain whichever you're using. So you grab all of them. I got them. Downloaded them. Okay, it's pretty simple. Once you've downloaded them, <coughs> you can. I'll put that up there. Where'd it go? There it is. Open the zip up, put it on your desktop, or you can put it into whichever drive you like. Okay? So I have a few different drives. If you don't have a separate drive, you can put it in your C drive. You don't have to put it in program files. You can just stick it in here in a folder. Okay? That ACARs all I'd suggest you make a folder and go call it sim bits or whatever you want to call it so you know that whichever folder you put it in in here is where it is all right so mine is on the d drive in with the sim there's seven there i just open it up right click the xe i pin it to the taskbar you can pin it to your start you can send it to the desktop as a shortcut it's pretty easy there it is same with our a cars it's just in there okay same thing, put everything that's in the zip in this folder. Don't take anything out, leave it all in there. Some people take bits out, don't do that. Okay, same same thing. Pin it to your desktop, taskbar, wherever you want to stick it, all right? I'll do it like that. Okay, now you've got that. Go to the front page. When you're ready to fly, Okay, and you've got those two things installed. You put, type in the airport that you want to leave, and the airport you want to arrive at, and you search it. So, let's do a big one to a big one. There should be a few airlines with quite a few different airplanes to choose from. There they are. So, don't worry about the aircraft. You can always change that in ACARS when you finish the flight, okay? Before you submit, another page opens up and gives you the chance to change the aircraft. The airline, you can't change, okay? So find the airline you like. Let's say Alaska, okay? Click on view the flight. It's an Airbus, you're flying a Boeing, or if you chose United over here, and it's got a Boeing in it, and you wanted an Airbus, you can change it later, all right? So you book the flight. I'm not gonna book it because I've already got one in there booked. Um, once you've booked it, you then open up your ACARS, okay? So mine's down here, but I'll open it here. Comes up, you've got to log in, see? Not logged in. No information down the bottom except the time that it is, okay? So you log in, use your worldwide number and the password that you use from the front page. So whatever you use to log in here is the same thing you use to log in to ACARS, okay? Log in. You'll get a notum pop up with our current information that you need to know about. Just acknowledge it. And you should be logged in. New pilots, it'll all be zeros down there. Go to new flight. A booked flight because you've just booked it on the front page, it will be here. This is when I booked earlier, okay? Highlight it, doesn't matter which one you highlight, that one, that one, whatever. Load selected flight. It's loaded it for you, okay? Departure time that was in the booking, the flight time that it should take you. Don't worry about the aircraft, you can always change it. Once you've loaded your simulator and you're parked at the gate, or you're sitting at the end of the runway, not moving, 
with your park and brake on you can connect to the simulator mine's not running so you'll get that error okay and then you hit start flight let's fire it up actually so it works ah, it takes too long um, So you connect to the simulator, start the flight, all this information fills out for you and tells you what phase you are in. So at the gate, if you're not parked at the gate, sitting at the end of the runway, I think it says pushing back. So if you start at the gate, it'll say at gate. As soon as you start pushing back, that'll change to push back. Then when you taxi into the runway, it'll say taxiing. And then once you take off, it'll say in flight. Okay. Down here we'll have some times in the aircraft that you are actually using. So if you're in an Airbus, that will say Airbus or Boeing or whatever prop plane you're flying, okay? Helicopter, the whole lot. If it's in our system, it'll pop up here, whatever you're using. That's why I said, don't worry about this aircraft. This one gets filled out. So once you land, you park the aircraft. You don't have to turn it off, but the aircraft must be stopped. You click stop flight file the report another window opens up like this log file there's nothing in it because i've got it opens up that's where you change your aircraft in the next window that pops up when you say file report so change the aircraft to what you're using which will be this one that's in here and then you submit it that's the only thing you can change is the aircraft all right that's it it's that simple download the two files Put them in a drive. They don't have to go in anywhere else. Put the shortcut wherever you want. Open this up. Log in the same as the front page. Book a flight. If it's not one that we have, okay, and you're all, you know we don't have it, you can do a custom flight. So basically a chartered flight. You choose the airline that you want. So if it's not an actual airline one, all right, or you can choose your favorite airline, it doesn't really matter. Or you choose worldwide, okay? Put in the departure and arrival airports if they're not in our system. Choose your aircraft that you are going to fly in, okay? It goes in there, and then you click generate flight. All right, and then all this information gets filled out. When you're happy with that, you accept the flight, okay? And it will fill. It will fill this out like a booked flight, okay? Except departure and arrival and flight time will be blank, or NA it'll say, because it's not a scheduled flight. The information's not there for ACARS to read. Right, eh? And then the same applies again. Parked at the gate, or parked at the end of the runway, or the hold short, wherever. Connect the sim, start flight. And all this will light up as well. All right? Once you are connected, this connection area down here will tell you what simulator you're in, Okay, don't worry about this not connected pilot stuff. This one will tell you what you're connected to. Righto, I hope that helps, guys. Um, if you've got any questions, come over to the forums and have ask a question. There's plenty. Of, there's always someone in here that can answer your question, whether it's an admin or one of the other pilots. They will help you out. There's plenty of people in here to help. Don't be afraid. Okay. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for flying with Worldwide. See you in the skies.